New at six, some Missouri lawmakers want to change a law that just months ago voters across the state approved by an overwhelming margin. It was Amendment 1 on the 2018 November ballot, better known as Clean Missouri. Now, this amendment was aimed at improving accountability for lawmakers by adding more transparency. And tonight, 41 Action News reporter Stephen Dial looks at how lawmakers are trying to change it and what it could mean for you and your local elected officials. Imagine the people behind me representing all Missouri voters. 62% of them voted for a law to happen, but some Missouri lawmakers are trying to overturn that. And it's not the first time Missouri lawmakers have done it. Let it slide and you're done. Does your vote matter? That's a real question. You see, in 2003, voters approved an anti concealed carry law and lawmakers overturned it. In 2011, voters approved Prop B. It would regulate puppy mills. But lawmakers overturned this that. This is our chance to increase integrity, transparency, and accountability in our state government. And now Clean Missouri is at risk of being overturned as well. Now, that's correct. Current Sunshine Law does provide me the opportunity to redact certain personal identifying information. Names, social security numbers, addresses, phone numbers, things of that nature. But it doesn't protect the story. Until November, members of the legislature were immune to public records requests. Clay County Representative Doug Ritchie and 102 other House members passed a bill that would virtually gut the Sunshine Law. The bill, as is, would prevent public records from being provided if it includes communication by or on behalf of a lawmaker that contains advice or an opinion. Pretty much every email that a member of the General Assembly sends out is going to include our opinion in some way, shape, or form. And so that piece of his amendment gutted all of the Sunshine Law. Kansas City Representative Greg Razor voted against the bill. An amendment to the bill also extends the right to withhold information to city leaders, boards, and law enforcement. Through a records request, I've learned 17 officers have left this department. Maybe we are overreacting. Do Sunshine requests even provide the public with needed information? Expense report after expense report. I asked Governor Mike Parson what he thought about the possible law change. I definitely have got reservations about some of the stuff's in there, but you always got to be careful anytime you're overturning the people's will or the people's vote. But I also think there is a legislator's process to make sure things are done right. And if they think things are wrong in there, they can always take a look at that. So what happens now? The Senate has the bill and could make some adjustments. Ultimately, Governor Parson has to sign it to overturn the will of the people. Reporting, Stephen Dial, 41 Action News.